So hi, I'm here at my house and well, let me show you some stuff. Here's the back of my house with my garage and a couple of solar panels on top. And as you may be able to tell, and well, this garage is exactly too small to actually fit my car. So if I want to charge my car, I have to do it outside. We've panned over slightly to the right, and here you can see the side of my house where I was just doing a very cheesy intro. And uh, as you can see, there is a sidewalk going all the way along the side of my house. Which means that if I want to charge here uh, with an extension cord, then people are going to trip over that extension cord. And here at the front of the house, uh, we see pretty much the same thing. So here on the left, this is what you just saw. This is this side of the house with the sidewalk. There's a car coming by now. And here is the front of the house with another sidewalk. All right. So this kind of poses a problem even though I have essentially five parking spaces right next to the home well within uh, extension core distance there is no real way of charging my car now this situation isn't helped by the fact that all the parking spaces around here are these contiguous parking spaces so places where you put uh, multiple cars in a row and there's really nothing in between except for yeah more pavement uh, with like one exception close to my home which is uh, this here uh, piece of greenery which is like tiny um, and the municipality said that I am uh, not allowed to put a charging point there so really I have no place to put a standard charging point which is like one of those um, boxes on a pole so now the big question really becomes, how do I make something go from the front of my car where the charge port is to my house? Yeah, this was a bad spot to put the camera. Well, I think I have a solution and it has everything to do with the pavement that's actually in the way. And this is it. Well, this is just a thing I bought. Um, the tiles that you saw in just previously are uh, 30 by 30 centimeters and there are these things that you can put in place of one of these tiles and it's a box it's basically a, uh, a watertight ish box and uh, you can use this usually you use this to uh, just like inspect pipe work i guess there's a certain water level in there or you can put cameras in there i don't really know what they use them for uh, but what I'm going to use it for is to put this at the uh, right at the edge of the curb. Um, put a power point in here. Uh, put a wire through the ground to my home. Uh, behind a switch. And then essentially have a charging point in the ground, flush with the ground. That nobody will be able to trip over. And of course, well, there needs to be... A cable coming out of this to the car so there's gonna be like a little cutout here now you may ask um, this lid is certainly not watertight how are you going to prevent water getting into your uh, mains outlet well I'm not pretty much <laughs> uh, what I'm gonna do is this this will just be loose there will obviously be a uh, drainage hole in the bottom and inside of uh, this box, I will be mounting an IP68. So this is a pressure water uh, tight mains outlet, just a regular Shuko. I will be putting this giant IP68 uh, Shuko connector. There we go. Uh, I will be putting that on the end of my granny charger. So uh, that way I hope <laughs> there will not be uh, an excessive amount of moisture uh, going on the contacts. Now, of course, uh, you may be asking, well, this has to be a common problem. Lots of people have electric cars now, lots of people want to charge and are not able to charge due to these kinds of circumstances, so how do other people do it? There are actually two companies that seem to make uh, a very, very similar solution. Something that sits flush with the ground that either pops up or 
opens up with a lid and you can put your charger in there. Uh, unfortunately, neither of those seem to be available. Uh, one of them is in pre-production. There are like 20 being pre-produced now, which is well, obviously early stages. And another one is vaporware, as far as I can tell. So we have to DIY. Well, as you might be able to tell, this is the next day. I uh, finished up the whole job kind of during the night. You could see the uh, the sun coming down during the footage. Uh, it was a bit too dark, but uh, yeah, here is a picture of my car actually charging. So this is it by day. And as you can tell, like it's pretty much invisible from the street. Now inside of the pit you can see I just directly connected the uh, Shuko mains connector to the cable. Uh, this will be enclosed in a nice waterproof enclosure. Uh, but I just wanted to test this. And as you could tell uh, it worked just fine. Now of course you might be interested to see how the cable runs. And actually at the end there you can just about see the cable popping out from the pavement through a hedge and then while well, it's pretty much invisible into into the wall somewhere there <laughs> yeah and on the inside you can see the ground cable it uh, pretty much <laughs> pokes out of the wall it's a very stiff cable uh, I wanted to put a switch there and unfortunately yeah it's way too stiff there's no way to to actually do that right so going to put a uh, little plank over the hole and mount a uh, wall mounted switch on there uh, that also goes to a shuko plug because yeah uh, I would have to uh, saw a hole through the wall and replaster it to actually get power into there there is um, there was a tiny little bit of tubing in the wall that went down and I thought ah oh, nice I can uh, can just attach it under the floor to the existing wiring but no such luck it actually only went in like five centimeters 
So this is a uh, useless hole, useless mounting hole that they put in there for no discernible reason. So yeah, got to do that another way. Uh, I'll probably keep the the plug. It's uh, it's an easy way to quickly see if everything's on or off. And also an easy uh, place to put a kilowatt hour meter. So, so far for this uh, charging point, I still have to put one in at the front of the house when I park my car there. Uh, but in the meantime, I hope you found this somewhat useful or entertaining. And uh, next time I will be showing what these things are.